On the 23rd of January 2016, a passenger train collided with a man lift that was using a protected level crossing between Dovsin and Oman. The train derailed, the driver lost his life and two passengers sustained minor injuries. The accident was cause for the Dutch Safety Board to launch an investigation into the safety of level crossings in the Netherlands. It was one of the six extensive investigations published in 2016. The Dutch Safety Board is an independent organisation that has the objective of increasing public safety. The board investigates actual accidents but increasingly also dangerous or potentially dangerous situations, which may occur, for example, near airports. The board does not deal with blame or liability. Its prime objective is to acquire knowledge and insight and to make recommendations for improvements at an administrative or organisational level. In its report on the train accident, for example, the board observed that better instruction should be in place for heavy and slow vehicles at level crossings and that pro-rail and local rail managers should work together more effectively when defining the risks. The collision in Tilburg between a passenger train and a goods train loaded with combustible substances fortunately did not result in serious consequences, but things could have been very different. In the recommendations formulated in the investigation, the board urges that safety measures for the carriage of dangerous goods always be strictly observed. Logistical or financial considerations may never be a reason to stretch the rules. The overall safety risk this would lead to, especially if it would occur at different points in the chain, is simply too large. The board asks that the State Secretary impose additional regulations. Miraculously enough, there were no fatalities when two cranes fell over in Elfin and Aren. The accident did wreak havoc. The board's analysis revealed that the two parties involved had seriously underestimated the complexities and risks of the work. The board blames that on the fragmentation of duties and responsibilities. Both parties had blind faith in the expertise of the other. The board therefore advocates always appoint one central liaison officer responsible for risks and safety. It also urges construction companies to expand their knowledge and expertise to enable them to carry out complex tasks effectively. In the Netherlands, even more bridges are operated remotely from central locations. For the board, this was an important reason to initiate an investigation into a fatal accident on the Denol Bridge in Sandam. This investigation showed all components of the operating system to have been working properly. The board states that the fact that an accident could nevertheless occur has everything to do with the specific situation on site. Cyclists and pedestrians have difficulty finding their bearings, and the bridge operator's duties have also become more complex. To improve the safety situation of this and other Dutch bridges, it is important to establish an integrated safety strategy, in which both human and technical aspects are weighed critically. In 2015, shortly after each other, Two well barges capsized while being laden with liquid sand. The board suspected a structural safety issue and started an investigation. It soon appeared that the stability of both ships had been inadequate, even though certificates had been issued. The board observes that the industry takes insufficient initiative to explicitly implement the existing legislation and regulations. It therefore recommends to the minister 
that a process be initiated with a focus on the safety risks in which ships are appropriately inspected. Is the organization of medical aid at sea sufficiently efficient? That is what the Dutch Safety Board was asking itself following a diving accident on the North Sea in the summer of 2015. A reconstruction of events revealed that the Coast Guard that coordinates the aid is not adequately equipped for the task. Miscommunication and ineffective collaboration with the other emergency services were the result, with fatal consequences. Sustainable improvement of medical assistance at sea is essential. The Dutch Safety Board sees this as a task for both the emergency services and the relevant ministries. It is impossible to prevent disasters and accidents altogether in any society, but we can try to learn from them to prevent them from happening again in the future as much as possible. That is one of the main objectives of the Dutch Safety Board. Thank <laughs> you.